Hello everyone, my name is Lorthorn, and welcome to what is probably going to be a very strange viewing experience. You see, I lost the audio for this video, but I did a lot of stuff in it, and I thought it'd be a shame to, well, waste all this footage that I had left over, so we're going to do a nice little narration over this uh, whole video. Um, as you can see right now, I appear to be doing something with magic wands recharging it, and I think I was talking about what to do next, or uh, how to can proceed with mods. Oh yeah, I add like a nice little staircase, you know, here, library and such, so that's pretty nifty. Like, look at all these books here. I think I spend the next little bit looking for a book, um, which is kind of embarrassing, because it's actually in my inventory. So, see those two books that bought my inventory? That's what I'm looking for right now. So, jeez, what a dum-dum. Uh, Hopefully, I'll find it sooner rather than later. Oh yeah, there we go, I found it. I'm probably like making a joke or chuckling about something or other. Um, and now I look into this book and I'm going to mutter over it and try to figure out what exactly it is you have to do to continue with this book until I remember, because I like read it the night before. Not the whole book, just parts of it. So I'm like, oh, what was it I was doing? And then like essence creating. Oh yeah, we have to like make this unrefined essence first and dunk it into the water. And that's me figuring out, see, there's unrefined, yeah, so you have to make these little clusters here, and I'm looking at them like, ugh, can't be bothered. But really, I should be bothered, because it's a kind of cool thing, although I have no idea what it's going to do. It seems to have some cool potential. This mod has some cool potential, I just have no idea what that potential is still, even after going through all this. <clears throat> so, then I fiddle around with my inventory and get messed up a bit, have to fix it. Yeah, there we go. Inventory's back to normal, and I dropped down this hole. Just thought it'd be cool. Kind of ruined it by the whole fiddly boat inventory thing, though. And I'm walking into here, and then like, wait, nope, go in there, nope. Okay, wow, I cannot decide what to do, and someone wasn't careful around live wire. Oh yeah, all the villagers that were, um, at the bender may have gotten loose and are running amok on the estates, and... A surprising amount, a large amount of them actually die to electrocution from my power setup. Which goes to show I should probably insulate those wires. Here I'm going through the guide to get all the greens needed. It's dirt, gold, iron, and stone. And I'm looking for the iron, found the iron, and I'm like, okay, let's track it down. Villager to the left, right there, not left, wondering about. Okay, and here we are, and there's a lot of different options. I'm actually surprisingly low on iron. I must have more somewhere. I mean, do have probably a lot still in the thingy revolver. Trying to gather stone and various other ingredients, and I can't actually seem to find them. Oh, all right, yeah, so I decided to uh, jump cut randomly as well before I did this narration, so that was the first jump cut. Um, and I have all the resources, just looking to see what these guys are willing to trade. They're just kind of like randomly here. I'm like, okay, yeah, we'll see what you have. They're both kind of useless. Probably going to eat one of them when I get hungry. Like, uh, well, maybe not. Anyways, I got the bucket over there. I just, oh yeah, I actually even got the first clustered gun. I skipped over that. It's really cool. Hopefully you'll get to see how the other ones are made. It's the kind of a cool thing. Don't want to put too many expectations. Kind of a weird jump cut. Oh well. <clears throat> yes, excuse me if I pause every once in a while. It's keeping up a constant line of narration is actually quite a difficult thing. Especially considering how much more I'm talking than I normally do. As I'm not doing anything with my hands. And when you're by yourself and not doing anything with your hands, you actually want to keep a constant narration going. So currently looking at how to build the stuff and figuring out the ingredients. So I think I've got some of them. Yep, sugar cane. So this would be the wind. Yes, I'm looking at the wind. So I need some sugar cane and feather, and I got all of them. Now I can go about collecting all of them. So there's the lapis lazuli. I have a ridiculously large amount of lapis lazuli. Holy cow, that's insane. Then we just need the feather and the flower from in here. And we can go back over here and we just stick them in all in. And it's, uh, just have to mix and match them a bit. I think I messed up, yeah, so gold, right. Gold, gold flower, it all works. Can put them in any order. I'm going to grab a bunch of unrefined stuff and put them weirdly down, and so I think they have to stack in sixes. Like, I actually thought that just because of the way I put them. Anyways, you throw them all here, and then it gets all sparkly, and I just walk away from it. But anyways, it gets all sparkly, then poof, you actually get the 
refined thing, but I'm too busy working on getting the next thing and collecting these crystals because, well, they're crystally. And going to probably put slop storage into somewhere here. Looking at how to make the water one, and a jump cunt is coming here shortly. It'll be in about 30 seconds, I think. Maybe less. 10 seconds? Five, four, three, two, one, and cut. There we go. Now I've actually completed the recipe for the blue stuff, so I'm going to chuck it in there and fail. What a failure. I could call pick them up again. Anyways, you can see they sparkle there. Pick them all up again. And there we go. See, it's kind of uh, turns away again. What a numpty. Look at the damn thing. I mean, I looked at it for the first one. That is, I just couldn't care less. And that's why I cut. Man. Okay, I got to work on my random cutting skills who have no context whatsoever with anything. Hopefully this is all recording as well. Now I am looking for glowstone and I'm bemoaning the fact that I actually don't have any. And I'm like, glowstone, why don't I have any glowstone? And you know what that means. If I don't have any glowstones, I have to go somewhere else. Now I can punch the flowers, which I didn't actually think of which are all around. So I'm just going to go into here and check all these chests, which do not have any glowstone in them. And that is a shame. Uh, so we're going to have to go look somewhere else. Uh, that priest is kind of random. And how we're... So we're just considering uh, be bony and having to go into the nether. Like, I don't want to go where. But we're going to go anyways. Hop past all these people. Do a nice little turnaround so I can get a view of the world. Oh, no, let's start halfway. Then bam, world's loading, and it's um, frozen for quite a while in the loading. Man, is it really that long? I usually cut that. Okay, here I am. And now I'm thinking about, okay, how can I get to these glowstone clusters? Me, a solution? Turn to a bat, fly up to them. Then there's a slight problem. I have to find a cluster I can actually land on and get access to. And a lot of the ones around here, I can't. Although I could have gone for that one. That one would be actually really simple now that I think about it. But I didn't do that because, well... Sometimes you mess up. And over here, I'm going to flap, 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 flap. Look at me, I'm a bat. And I'm mess up. Hit the space, double space, I guess, and fall again. And I'm looking for a nice little angle. I can't break it as a bat. And I'm like, okay, where's the space I can fit into? So I'm going to have to squeeze in here, stop here, and then demorph back into normal form. Then I'm going to do something rather unadvisable, which is play with gravity before I can get my glider out. Some of the stuff always falls in lava, but now I have more glowstone than I could ever hope to dream of. Which I think is a lovely thing to have. Back to you through the portal now. I'm just entering, getting a little bit of a teleport back home, I reckon. Uh, yep, you know, another long freeze. I probably didn't stop talking. Actually, sometimes I do stop talking when I go through the portal and continue my conversation. It's weird, you don't know when you are and are not talking when you're playing at the same time. Like, oh shoot, I wasn't talking, but then you realize you were, and it's just a bit of a mix. Picked up the blue stuff, and now I'm like, okay, so the lap is here, and oh right, I need all the other things. So what is that? I need the nether rack, I need the flint, and I need the other thing. Uh, quartz, that's it, nether quartz, all the fiery stuff. Of course, you need to go to the nether to get some fiery stuff, how about that? I mean, there's plenty of normal fire in the base game. But the mod maker decided that you need to go in nether to get most of the resources, except for the flint. And I'm okay with that. I just... I'm not a fan of the nether. I, I am not a nether fan. You can say that for certain. I'm going to get eight. Oh, fancy boy. Eight fiery clusters. I'm considering where to put all this stuff. And I realize it's probably going to be doing some more stuff with all this fiery stuff eventually. And I should put them into a long-term storage. And I'm thinking maybe I can throw into one of these, but then I still have to cycle through it, so I'm looking for a chest. Someone else wasn't careful around the Y flyers, so they died too. That is villager number two that I've caught dying that way. I think there's like three more that die via the Y flyer. I'm not exactly certain. So I'm just putting all these resources in here. And sure, some of them are useful in other cases, but I'll, I'll be back for them, so don't you worry about a thing. Now it's time to put the old flamey badamey into the water right here. Oh, there's the old hole. I just emptied it of water. What on earth did I do that? Well, I guess I have two flow or two holes burr Let me try that again. I have two holes bored into my floor 
Why was that so difficult? I kept trying to say other things. Anyways, unrefined clusters. <laughs> Words. Unrefined clusters are a little more expensive, but we have the glowstone dust in large abundances, and that's the main ingredient. And we need diamonds, and luckily I have 19 of them, which isn't a whole lot, but it's a whole lot than I thought I had, so we could go grab some of those. Mm, redstone as well. Lovely stuff, that redstone. And there's three diamonds, I'm concerned, yeah, I'll only use three. So that should be about six, but there's a trick here. See, watch this. Get the glowstone, double tap it, and you get three per one of these, which I think is a spiffing, fantastic, freaking fantastic deal. And that thing is glowy, which is just a little bit of a modding thing, so I have to go, and tracking. And then I'm going to chuck these new clusters in, and they get all sparkly. And this time I'll actually stare and watch. Ooh, isn't that pretty? And we are about to get the newest clusters, and there we go. Oh, someone got killed by a zombie. Oh, right, this. Yep, someone just gets killed by a zombie. Um, I'm looking through here, considering what do you, else do you do with this stuff? Probably trying to figure out spells and such, and it's like, ooh, Megan, someone else was just slain by a zombie. Giant was killed by Kendion. Curses was burned to death by something. Holy cow, a lot of people are dying. And then I see that. And I kind of just lost it. The baby zombie just running on that thing and then staring at the wall there. It just kind of took it out of me. So I killed that zombie and then kind of broke down for a short while. I'm not exactly sure why. It was just such an unexpected thing that it's just like, what's the point of this all? And kind of wanted to express how disgusted I am with the whole situation of seeing a baby zombie in full gold armor running on a treadmill and killing villagers. So I spent way too long fiddling around trying to get this chair down. And I um, just cut to it actually working right about now? Okay, a little bit after that. I didn't jump cut? What on earth? Okay, I thought I jumped cut. Maybe I just cut, but I didn't actually cut anything else. Just put a little line into the recording. Yep, appears to be. So I guess I'm going to fiddle around a lot more with this chair here. Okay. Gonna break some snow. Gonna try to get a nice little seat here now. There we go, get sit down. Then I turn around and just sort of like, go, you know, never expected my life would lead me to where I was today. I thought I'd be like an architect or a mathematician or something. But here I am sitting, staring off into nothing. I could actually still be an architect, you know. I uh, wonder what the hours for architect are like. Takes a lot of schooling though, and that is really expensive schooling. Holy cow, architect courses are expensive, and I mean they get paid a decent amount, especially if you're a good one. But school is like way too expensive. Uh, I, I've been to school, I know. I'm not sure if I'm going back there. Uh, we'll see, we'll see. Um, I mean this whole situation that the world's in right now. Who can really tell if going to school is even the thing to do right now? I mean, apocalypse. Hello. Not really apocalypse, more just a plague demic. Then there's Andrea here, who I'm just going to get a little bit of food off of. She's a very nice lady. And I have the hiccups. Huh. Guess I got hiccups while eating. You know that happens sometimes. And now I have this essence stuff. I actually have no freaking clue what to do with it. Uh, no freaking flippin' dippily dipped up do clue. I'm like, okay, let's level up my vampirism. And I walk straight past the hidden doorway, and I'm kind of being an idiot, and then I'm like, wait, where, where, where's the, um, where is even the building called? Mausoleum. I'm, I'm a little lost. Like, where the heck did the mausoleum go? So I get mad at this guy and bite him on the schnoz. I guess that's where their blood is stored. That's why it's so big and wobbly. All their blood stored in that spot. And then I see this weird book. El Razul day. And like, what's this? And it's the El Azun, and then he's like, oh, you have to dream. You must sleep and dream. That's the key. That's where the first book came from, so this thing will have more to the guides. And it's, okay, cool. So I'll read that book later after I take a nap. Uh, okay, time to go take a nap. And here's the mausoleum, but I need to get the whole thingy medabers for it. So I'll just wander around for a little bit, hopping like a little bunny rabbit. And. I'm looking for the golden blocks and the iron spike and all that stuff and well, it's not here It's in the storage and I have no idea where I'm wondering to do I think there's a chest in here for some reason I'm Going to then go searching for it and the gold blocks are up there I'm going to type in blocks and I miss them and oh, this is painful Gold it's just because I'm so 
roll down. So here we go, gold, there we go. Got the gold blocks, lovely stuff. And we're going to look up the stone. Yes, so the, the, the at vampire. Oh yeah, right, at vampirism. You can use the at feature with this search. It's, it's very handy. And I can get the little spikes search now when I realize they're there. Come on, to the right, yes, down. There we go, got it. Now this thing should track me to the spot. And I'm going to walk up the stairs for some reason, like a complete noob, and look for the vampirism books. Okay, I'm on noob. I am competent. And hopefully it will, yep, I'm looking through the book, trying to figure out what to do. Looking through the book, still a little bit lost on things. Come on, man, just get on with it. This is boring. You're boring me, dude. Man, is this what it's like to watch me? Maybe if I wasn't so boring, I'd have more viewers. Should cut more stuff out. Yeah. Although, when you have a long range series, um, that's the problem. See, people initially watch, and then I've done a lot more cutting, a lot more work and editing lately than I used to. But we're like 54 episodes into this. Shignan Damri. Okay, saying this up. But yeah, and then people don't see that because it's only the true watchers who you are. I'm, I'm happy to have you here. Yes. And so, I mean, I have to start a new series eventually. Um, well, we'll get to that when we get to that, though. We'll reach that hurdle. We'll reach all those hurdles um, once these summer reruns are done. <laughs> I'll see. Anyways, I'm like, okay, let's uh, take a nap then. Did I actually do the ritual? Or Oh, right, I have to do it at night, so I'm going to take a nap. And I don't notice anything on this book, but progression has... Oh, progressive. And then it talks about dreams, and I was like, what? And I see this little wobbly thing. You can drag it around. Then look at that. Memories. Make a memory of learning. And it's like, okay, that's a little bit weird. We'll um, figure that out later. I'm just going to go up the staircase here. Walk around down here into the mausoleum. Hello, ladies. Welcome to the mausoleum. And we're just going to say, oh, we need to shovel this a little bit. It's a bit too snowy in these parts, you know? And we're going to wander on here, say hi to Steve. And it is now six pillars that should be firing, but we're only going to get five. And yep, there's Steve, my lovely uh, friend and companion. Through these cold, hard years, he's the witness to my ever-growing vampiric powers. Hmm. And we are getting blinding red lights in our face. Which, I mean, doesn't everyone love blinding red lights? Now it's time to choose between jump boost and speed boost. Go for the jump boost. It's much better than the speed boost. Seriously, go for the jump boost. Yes, you're looking around. Teleportation's cool and all. Go for the jump boost. Come on. Jump boost. There we go. Yes, jump boost. Yes, click on it. Because it is a permanent boost. You cannot activate as a power, as I'm trying to see. Nope. Permanent boost. And permanent speed would be annoying. Because walking around with haste is quite annoying. See, permanent jump boost. How much How high, much height is it? Is it just two blocks? That looks like... Okay, that's two blocks bonus. Which is pretty cool. Extra blocks. Not two blocks bonus. It's one extra block of height. Which is, I must dare say, very useful. So I'm just going to go over here and attempt to do a little bit of farming. See how the farms are coming along. Guess what? Guess what? They're outside the loaded chunk area, so I'm going to have to add another world spike here. I don't remember what it was that's supposed to spike worlds. It might be gates or something? Or something from another mod? I look for world spike, grab the thing that looks like a spike. That's the world point thing. You actually need the proper world spike. And I'm going to get some ender pearls to fuel it, but this is not even the right device for the job. So I'll slap it down, and it's not going to work. And then I realize and go, don't! And so I have to go Search World Spike again, and there we go. Let's get a proper World Spike, a passive World Spike. And we're going to put that sucker down there. Going to break that other one. Throw it into the bay. Getting really jumpy. Wow. And power this thing up. It is fueled. It is working. We have this area World Spiked. And, well, I believe that's right near the end of the video. So, I think I'll thank you all for watching. And I'll catch you all next time. So, until then... Goodbye.